Today, we are welcoming back to the channel MMI with an all new watch, the Sky Hunter. And right off the bat, I love the name. Sky Hunter sounds awesome. This watch commemorates the Hawker Hunter, a British fighter jet that the Royal Singaporean Air Force used for 22 years to defend their skies. Maybe I would have liked to see the signature engine element with those triangle cutouts somehow implemented on the dial, but we do have the whole aircraft on the case back. Very nice. The case completely brushed with a tool watch aesthetic. And it reminds me of the Rolex Oyster case, just a little bit more flatter on the bottom, but the way the lug tapers and transitions from the side of the case to the top of the lugs, that's where I get that feeling. So beautiful case here, simple, classic, it's a winner. There is a high polished bezel sitting on top of that brushed case and on top of that bezel is a pressed in sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. The sapphire is flat and it comes in at 32.5 millimeters. What does that mean? The sapphire covers the dial and that stepped chapter ring, giving this watch an all dial look and it may wear larger than its size indicates. Now, speaking of measurements, let's do the dimensions. I got 38 millimeters in diameter, ultra thin coming in at 10.6 no drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 45.3. So nice compact dimensions here. I think many people will be happy with this sizing. And with this pilot watch, you will not be afraid to go into water. It has a six millimeter screw down crown, giving the watch 100 meters of water resistance. The crown is loomed and signed with the MMI logo. The bracelet is oyster style with male end links. And for me, that's a zonk. We need female end links here, 20 millimeters tapering down to 18. And it uses push pins, so very easy to size. We got a standard fully milled clasp, fold over, twin button release, and five micro adjusts. The dial is just absolutely gorgeous. Brushed silver horizontally, and the Rota date disc almost makes it look like a sector dial. The chapter ring is raised, it's stepped with a high polished bevel, which is well done. And overall, it has a very clean look with the Arabics and the baton hands, arrow tipped second. Legibility is excellent. The blue one is an all loom dial as well as the white. So that's incredible. Now the production model blue is going to be a little bit brighter than you will see on the prototype videos. So take note of that. This watch is launching today on their website, no Kickstarter for pre-order. And the earlier you buy it, the more you save. So the longer you wait, the less you pay. The first 24 hours is crucial. You're gonna get this thing for 305 USD. Keeping in line with the back in the day prices that we used to love from micro brands. So if this watch is speaking to you, make sure you order today. Now, MMI is known for their Rota date disc complication. This one is the third gen and it is also new and improved. Now, slightly bigger and the cutouts are sharper as they are made with a new and improved laser. And now when we pull out the crown, yes, it does hack, but put it in position one and you can change the date. This one turns counterclockwise before when they were a Seiko based movement, it would turn clockwise. So a little bit interesting detail here with the Miyota 9000 series date disc. Kind of cool. This watch is powered by the Miyota 9015, which beats away at a smooth 288 VPH, 42 hours of power reserve with 24 joules, and it is much thinner than the Seiko NH35 and even the ETA 2824. And look at that rate. And the fourth and final round, zero. Now let's see the positional variance, how this watch will react when you wear it. Beat error did increase, Amplitude did drop, which is normal. We're gonna ignore the first number. Okay, so plus 10, plus nine, looks like it's settling. And the fourth and final round, plus nine. That is well within the negative 10 to plus 30 factory specification. There's the loom shot, it is old radium X1 loom. So it has that faux patina. The Rota date disc is loomed. You can see that orange marker right under the 12 o'clock. And there you can see the loomed logo on the crown. Very nice. Has MMI done enough? 
Did the Sky Hunter speak to you? If it did, check the links down below. If you like this brand's design theme, check out some other MMI videos on the right of your screen right now, and I'll see you in the next one.